All right, so I did a forum on my YouTube channel, and I wanted to kind of walk through the responses that I got. Um, I got a lot of positive feedback, and I definitely appreciate all of you guys kind of taking the time to answer these 10 questions that kind of help me gauge what you guys like about my content, what your experience level is. And I just wanted to share that with you all in case you're interested. And also, I do want to announce something, um, a community project, which I'll talk about later on, which I want to try to do. I've tried doing community projects in the past, and they end up just becoming a nightmare because 100 people say they want to help out. And then within two days, 99% of all those people are just gone. They're just, they disappeared. All right, let's talk about these responses. So how experienced are you in web development? It looks like I have a pretty good range of, you know, we got a lot of beginners. We got you know, a decent amount of like intermediates. And then we have some more advanced people. I think the scale was like, I've never worked at a company before. And this is like, I've been working in the industry for years. So I kind of like that. I kind of like how like I have a nice range of like beginners watch my stuff. They're probably super lost with half the stuff I say. You got experts watch my stuff, probably laughing at the half the stuff I say um, because they're smarter than me. But which is good when I talk about this community project that I plan to um, kick off because we'll have hopefully some good experienced developers being able to help, you know, the intermediate and beginners. All right. The second question, what is the main reason you watch my content? A lot of people answered, um, and asked if I could have just made this a multi-select. I probably should have, so I apologize for that. But most of the responses came back for, they watch my stuff for the random bits of knowledge I teach in my videos. And also they watch because they just want to watch a professional developer code. As you probably know from my videos, a lot of the stuff I make is just like something that comes to my mind. And I'm like, man, this, re this would be really cool to share with uh, my subscribers. So the other largest chunk is Next.js. So again, I'm going to stick with Next.js. There's times where I just want to quit Next.js in the app router because I just think it's kind of garbage right now. But I'm just going to stick with it. How long have you been a subscriber to my channel? It seems like most of the people have been here less than a year. Um, and about 15% have been more than a year. So for those who have been more than a year, I salute you. Thank you for watching my stuff. I'm glad you have stuck around for a whole year. And for the newcomers, I hope you stick around for a while too. Are you a native English speaker? So I asked this question because when I first started like making videos, I got a lot of comments saying that I speak really fast. And it makes sense that 64% are not native English speakers. So with this feedback, I do plan to maybe just slow down my pace a little bit and make sure that I keep that in mind because I don't want to speak too fast and just kind of like, you know, blow past everybody, especially when I'm doing like tutorial content. But when I'm doing something like this, I'll speak fast um, just because. But going off of that, it seems like a majority of people say that my pace is fine. A couple of people say I speak too fast. And then a couple people say I speak too slow. Um, the ones who say I speak too slow are probably the same ones who are like in this experienced bracket. And the ones say I speak too fast are probably in the inexperienced bracket. So that kind of makes sense. Rate how well you are TypeScript. So we got an even spread here, um, which is good. I think that means that we have more abilities to kind of teach TypeScript to you all. It looks like nine and 10. It doesn't seem like a lot of people are like super expert with TypeScript but most of us have been working with it for a year or less or two years or less. And they're just trying to like learn more about it. So I'll probably try to continue incorporating TypeScript in my videos and maybe even start making more YouTube shorts about TypeScript. All right, so number seven, what is your favorite video length to, for learning new things? Most people say 10 to 20 minutes. So with that feedback, I will try to keep it within that 10 to 20 minute range for most of my videos. But it looks like, you know, there's some others that really enjoy just a short content. Like I know Fireship has like those nice learn whatever in 100 seconds which does really well but as you can tell from my videos i kind of ramble a lot number eight would you be interested in participating in a coding challenge or hackathon so this is the one where i wanted to address in this video so 72 percent of you said yes i want to participate in a coding challenge or a hackathon number nine would you be interested in building something with me or my discord community 80 percent said yes so i think there's a lot of people out there who might be just learning by themselves doing solo development and they haven't had an experience working with other people on a project and i do plan to maybe start a community project which i'll talk about in just a second but finally we got a bunch of awesome positive feedback i appreciate all the feedback you guys left i got 136 responses of uh you know just just tons of stuff i even have to go to another google sheets to read it so i appreciate all the feedback it really makes me happy all right, so let me just give a quick overview of why I'm doing this, this survey. Um, it's always been a goal to like help people learn how to code via my videos and like what I teach on my channel. And sometimes I feel like I kind of get away from that. Like I do a lot of my vlog updates on my personal SaaS products. Um, I do my random 
complaining and opinionated talks, but ultimately I just want to teach people how to code and how to actually like become a professional developer. So, so I'm always like trying to find like, what is the best way to give that value to my viewers? And one thing that keeps coming to my mind is like doing some type of like community based project. I know I have a lot of people in my discord who kept talking about a community based project. So I'm going to right now announce a, a simple little coding project. And this is going to be like a pilot to see like how stuff goes. We are going to be doing something like type racer, but with code. Okay. So if you don't know what type racer is the website where you can go in and you can basically like enter a typing race and it connects you with, I don't know if these are real people or just AI, but you have a prompt that you have to type and you get to race against other people. Okay. So that's kind of something that I wanted to try to do, but instead of typing in a prompt here, you're actually going to be typing in like JavaScript or TypeScript. We're going to focus on TypeScript because most of the people on my channel probably use TypeScript or want to learn about TypeScript. And I think learning how to be very proficient at typing the syntax of TypeScript could potentially make you a better developer. Okay. But overall, this is just something fun to work on. And I think if you guys are interested in working on this, uh, I think it'd be a good learning opportunity. So how is this going to work? I have a GitHub repo called Code Racer. You can go and click on the link in the description and start this. If you're interested in contributing to this, we're going to basically be using Next.js with Tailwind, probably be using Prisma, um, basically the same stack that I've been doing in all my videos, but we're going to be using the app router this time. Okay. We're going to try to use the app router with server actions. I'm going to give it a shot, So we're not going to be using the T3 stack in this project. Okay. But I do want to stick with the stack that most of the people who watch my videos should hopefully be familiar with. I'll probably scaffold up a project here, but the hardest part of this collaborative coding is going to be managing this. So I'm going to need a lot of help. If anyone wants to just volunteer with like, first of all, I'm going to need um, people who are more experienced. I don't need people who are experienced to come in here and just start like coding everything. Okay. I know it's fun to like build a project with people, but if you're super experienced, I would rather you help with project management, reviewing PRs and kind of helping these less experienced um, developers like beginners and intermediate understand how to use Git, understand how to basically tackle these problems, how they implement these things. Okay. I I'm pretty sure this is going to become a hot mess of a project and people are just going to be like stepping on everyone's toes. But I would say come into this project. If you are serious about this project with like a, this is a, a, a pilot, this is a proof of concept that we're trying something new. So that's like the first thing I would do is get this repo and start it. The second thing is join my discord and go down to this projects drop down and I have a community project here. Okay. Make sure you're part and active in this channel. This will be the primary form of communication that we'll do, uh, if you're working on this project and I am going to do some gatekeeping for this project. Okay. If you are interested in contributing to this project, you have to join my discord and you have to be active in this channel every day for the next week. If I don't see you being active in this channel and then later on you come in and say, Oh, I want to contribute. I'm going to take that as you're not very serious about like actually working with people. Um, because I will warn everyone that I've tried doing like a community based project in the past. And like I said, at the beginning of this video, everyone is super hyped at helping out. But then within a three or four days, literally everyone disappears. Like everyone is all talk. There are no action. So I, I honestly only want people who are serious about working together, uh, at building something. And it's going to be, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be probably tons of people stepping on everyone's toes. So we're going to need a lot of people to volunteer if you're good at maintaining and like managing, um, you know, you step up to the plate and hopefully we can kind of build something together. And depending on how like this project goes, uh, maybe we'll keep on, you know, spinning up new community projects and just build new cool stuff together. Let me know. But that is what we're going to be doing as a community. It might be a silly project, but I think it will be some good practice. Well, anyway, I definitely appreciate the feedback you all gave me. And like always, um, join my Discord if you want to talk to me directly. If you don't even want to participate in this community project, feel free to join my Discord anyway. It's a good place to just ask questions if you're stuck. And like always, have a good day. Happy coding.